Shark fin soup is a Chinese soup that has been a popular item of Chinese cuisine. Originated in China, has been widespread in many other parts of the world since the Ming Dynasty. It is usually served at special occasions such as weddings and banquets, or as a luxury item in Chinese culture. Shark fins, once they are harvested, are then dried to be sold in markets to individuals and restaurants to be made into shark fin soup, and sold to the public for as much as three hundred fifty dollars per bowl. The shark fins don't even add any flavor to the soup. Chicken or pork are used to flavor. The fins are for texture only. Shark finning refers to the removal and retention of shark fins and the discard at sea of the carcass. The shark is most often still alive when it is tossed back into the water. Unable to swim, the shark slowly sinks towards the bottom, where it is eaten alive by other fish. Shark finning takes place at sea, so the fishers have only the fins to transport. Shark meat is considered low value and therefore not worth the cost of transporting the bulky shark bodies to the market. Any shark is taken regardless of age, size, or species. Long lines used in shark finning operations are the most significant cause of losses in shark populations worldwide. Shark finning is widespread and largely unmanaged and unmonitored. Shark finning has increased over the past decade due to the increasing demand for shark fins. Improved fishing technology and improved market economics. Shark specialists estimate that 100 million sharks are killed for their fins annually. One pound of dried shark fin can retail for $300 or more. It's a multi-billion-dollar industry. Pectoral and dorsal fins are cut from the sharks to make shark fin soup. These are the impacts of shark fishing: loss and devastation of shark populations around the world. Experts estimate that within a decade, most species of sharks will be lost because of long lining. Unsustainable fishery: the massive quantity of sharks harvested and lack of selection deplete shark populations faster than their reproductive abilities can replenish populations. Threatens the stability of marine ecosystem. Loss of sharks is a food staple for many developing countries. Local waters are invaded by large industrial foreign fishing vessels that threaten traditional sustainable fisheries. Threatens socio-economically important recreational fisheries, obstructs the collection of species-specific data that are essential for monitoring catches and implementing sustainable fisheries management. Wasteful of protein and other shark-based products, up to 99% of the shark is thrown away. Laws against shark fishing. Each country with a coastline is responsible for laws and regulations pertaining to fishing in their waters. A number of countries have shark finning. Legislation: Many stipulate that fins must arrive in a 5% weight ratio of the shark carcasses on board. Only a few countries demand that sharks arrive in port with fins attached. According to the IUCN Shark Specialist Group, the easiest way to implement a ban is to require that shark carcasses be landed with fins attached. The possession of fi fins alone on vessels would thus be illegal. Shark finning violates the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization's Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries. Shark finning is contrary to United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization's International Plan for the Conservation and Management of Sharks. The United Nations Convention on the Trade of Endangered Species of Flora and Fauna lists the whale shark, basking shark, and great white shark as species that could become threatened if trade is not controlled. To date. 169 countries have agreed to be legally bound by this law. A survey carried out in China in 2006 by Wild Aid and the Chinese Wildlife Conservation Association found that 35% of participants said they had consumed shark fin soup in the last year, while 83% of participants in an online survey conducted by the Worldwide Fund for Nature said that they had consumed shark fin soup at some time in their lives. It is important to remember that mankind will become extinct next if sharks disappear. Without sharks, the oceans will teem with fish and other ocean animals that live off the plant life in the sea. When this plant matter disappears, so will the vital oxygen that the ocean produces, that is so important to the sea life, as well as life on land.